So the dude says to me, hey, have you rooted your S3 yet? And I said, man, I haven't even got close to its SD card slot. <laughs> okay, that was uh, pretty shit. Hey everybody, Richie here at Chilling in the Room. Now, if you're like me, you might have upgraded your phone a fair amount of times over the last few years. And just like Grandpa Simpson languishing in the nursing home, your old equipment gets left behind with no updates to keep it fresh and it ends up looking pretty sad and old. Now, I personally don't mind walking the minefield that is the custom ROM. I've even done it to my good old Galaxy Tab 7.7, but there is now an easier way. Meet the CM installer, now available on Google Play. That's right, you can take your old phone and convert it into a fresh little smartphone that's snappier and full of new features that you probably would have never got if you'd left it in the hands of the original manufacturer. And it's really easy to do. In fact, I'm going to show you, you can convert your sad old phone into a fully updated Android weapon of mass communication in a few ridiculously easy steps. And here we go. First. Go to Google Play and download the official Cyanogen Mod installer. Open it and it will make sure that you have set up the phone for installation. Back up all your personal stuff like photos and all that because the phone will be wiped. Now the app will prompt you to go to get.cm uh, get where you will then download the installer onto your Windows PC. Run the downloaded file and it will open a dialog box where it will ask you to connect your smartphone. It will then download the relevant operating system and system apps for the phone and then give you the go ahead to install. You just press install and your phone will go into download mode. Then if all goes well, you should see the blue CM man giving you a wave. Hey there blue man. And it will then reboot and whooshka. You have the latest Cyanogen Mod OS on your phone. You can then choose to set up an account with CM, then log into Google. And the great thing is all the standard Google apps are preloaded. You don't have to do a thing. And on this particular phone, the Samsung Galaxy S3, it's been upgraded to Android 4.3.1. Not too shabby. As you can see, it's pretty snappy and you can really get down and dig into the settings to customize it. It's honestly like having a new phone. No bloatware, it's nice and quick and of course the upgrade is free. So that was a short but sweet demo of the new SIM installer. Great if you've got an old phone that is real creaky and could do with a refresh. A couple of pointers, once you go to CM, you can't easily revert back to the original OS. So maybe do a bit of research before you do decide to jump in. You could also lose uh, some of the unique hardware features that CM doesn't support. So be aware of that as well if you're planning on switching and you like to use things like Smart Stay or Watch Now or AirView. And lastly, sometimes the installation won't go the way you would have liked it to and you might have to get your geek on. For example, I tried this on an original Galaxy Note and I ended up having to replace the driver on the Note using a Zadig program. It's not always plain sailing. That said, I found the answer pretty quickly on the CM forums, so go through that as a lot of other people are talking about issues with their phones and others are coming up with solutions. So, is the CM install attractive to you? Have you given it a go? And have you had any issues? Please chat away in the comments area below. Click that like button if you enjoyed this and subscribe for regular updates from yours truly. Have a good one. Until next time.